Okay, let's move on now to Zechariah's sixth vision. We're in Zechariah chapter 5, verses 1 to 4. This is one of the most neglected. You really don't usually hear very much about it, but it's one of my favorite ones in the whole book. Then I returned and raised my eyes and saw there a flying scroll. And he said to me, what do you see? So I answered, I see a flying scroll. Its length is 20 cubits and its width 10 cubits. Then he said to me, this is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole earth. Every thief shall be expelled according to this side of the scroll, and every perjurer shall be expelled according to that side of it. I will send out the curse, says the Lord of hosts. It shall enter the house of the thief and the house of the one who swears falsely by my name. It shall remain in the midst of his house and consume it with its timber and stone. And in the vision, he sees it. It's around 15 feet by 30 feet. How much could you write on a scroll that had you had 15 feet of space by 30 feet of space? Uh, another interesting thing is that dimension there works out to pretty similar to the dimensions of the the tent the, in the in the wilderness sanctuary. What's in the holy and most holy place? God's law is there. So this scroll isn't stored away in a bag. This scroll is flying through the world, and uh, you know it says in the Bible that God's word will not return to him void, it will not return to him empty, but it will accomplish that for which he gives it, for, for which he sends it. So there's a covenant between God and his people. And there are conditions, you know, we must obey and we'll be faithful, God will bless. If we're disrespectful, disobeying, we will have trouble. So everybody who joins up with God's unselfish kingdom will be blessed. And everybody who persists on their own course uh, they won't be blessed. And so we're in this learning curve, I guess you could say, on planet Earth. Good versus evil. God is the one who gives us the gift of life, and he says good. And so we want to choose his unselfish ways and be more and more and more and more like Jesus. So that's the opportunity that he's giving us. And this flying scroll flying about uh, through the land, it is, it is really a reminder for stealing and lying uh, those are all pieces that are kind of built into the Ten Commandments. You know, in that Ten Commandment law, that shows us God's character, kind of in a, in a thumbnail sketch, God's character, his way of being right and our way of if being wrong if we go against it. He's telling us what he's like. God would never commit adultery against us. God, if he was in our situation, he would never steal uh, against us. God is giving us opportunity to align with his beautiful and perfect character, his unselfish character, and everybody's getting a choice. They can make their choice. And let me tell you, if you only know yourself well enough, if you don't, I guess you've got some head problems. But look, knowing yourself well enough, you know that you don't want to be on your own side because your own side is the side of self-service. It's the side of taking. God's side is the side of giving. Justice will prevail all over planet Earth. The scroll is going to alight, but we don't want it to alight in our house. So it's been a pretty windy day, and I, I want to always want to kind of give you some good shots, shots of Lake Michigan. In times of spiritual lethargy, like the time of Zechariah, God wants to reassure us that right will prevail. So it might look like uh, the wicked are prospering. It might look like that uh, the believer doesn't get anything. It might look that uh, we, we think of that, but we these are partial moments. These are not the real, that's not the whole picture. And so we've got to look with faith. God is more aware than we are of departures of faith in our day, even in the churches. God is more aware of that. The distortions of reality, the crazy bad ideas that currently seem to rule in the kingdom of men, God knows all about it. And so he's on his throne, don't forget. Take a deep breath and trust him. When people say that up is down and down is up and, 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 and all these crazy things we're hearing today, man could be a woman, a woman could be a man. This is going to lead to lots of pain and suffering that doesn't need to be. It's sad, but the, the reality is still the reality. So, you know, God is on his throne, and we're going to see what mattered the most on planet Earth was the errands and the duties that we did for the Creator and the Remaker of all men, not the high and mighty statements of a big government leader. That stuff, you know, it's, it's very temporary. And I like this vision of the flying scroll. It reminds me that the whole world is a scene of moral, uh, there's no space that isn't touched by what's right and what's wrong. We don't want to ever forget that. God bless you today. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.